Yo, what's up, everybody? Um, I'm out in the uh, treehouse right now, and I'm going to be doing some squirrel hunting. Um, this is where I squirrel hunted in all my other videos all last year, but uh, haven't had I haven't come back out here to squirrel hunt yet this year. So it's there's some snow out there, so hopefully we can get some squirrels. All right, guys. So these squirrels just aren't wanting to move in the snow, so. I'm going to take a walk, and I'm going to switch to the GoPro, and I'm going to um, see if I can see any in trees and get them out of there because they're just not running where they do usually do because of the snow. So let's try that. All right, guys. So they're just squirrels. I don't think like the snow. It's just too deep for them. It's about four inches deep. I just don't think that they like it. So um, I. Still haven't put the trail camera up since the review, so there's um, lots, lots of tracks over here. There's deer and fox and everything, so they're all coming into one spot. So I'm gonna put it on down here. I mean, some of these prints aren't mine, but there's deer and there, fox, and they're all in here, and then they're all going into the trail. So what I'm going to do. Let me turn the screen around real quick. What I'm going to do is um, put it on one of these trees and hope that we can get some uh, good footage just of a few different types of animals. So let's put the trail camera up. All right, guys. So when the deer and stuff are walking down this trail into here, they're walking, and then the trail camera is right there. So I'll catch them walking through here. So hopefully we can get some uh, fox, deer, anything else that comes through. But there looked like there was a lot of deer tracks and everything. So hopefully something will come on through and we'll get them. All right, guys. So um, put the trail camera up. There weren't any squirrels this morning. So I decided uh, why not make some squirrel that I had down in the freezer for lunch and show you how to, or not how to, I mean... This is my first time cooking it this way, but I'm going to figure it out. So, this is what we got. This isn't everything, but I got some dry rub. We're going to get some barbecue out. We're just going to do some barbecue squirrel. So, I'm going to get all of the um, stuff out, and then I'll show you what's happening. All right, guys. So, we got some dry barbecue rub. We got some barbecue sauce. We got the squirrel. It's been soaking in salt water for an hour. Usually, I would let it sit in the salt water for longer, but... I only had an hour to let it dethaw and sit in salt water, so that's how long it got to. And then I got pepper, some onion, garlic, um, and that's it. So we're going to put it in here and we're going to um, slow cook it in the oven. Alright guys, so the oven's warming up. So what I'm going to do here is get some paper towels. Let me get some more. Alright, so we got the paper towels, so I have a full squirrel here and some uh, squirrel legs, so I'm going to just take them out one by one, quickly just dry them off in the paper towels real quick. So I'm going to do that with all the pieces and then I'll get right back to you. Alright, now I also added uh, some potatoes just for some extra food. So I'm going to get the squirrel body and I'm going to take onions that I have cut up. And I'm going to put them in the squirrel, like in the ribs and everything. Um, this is the first time doing this, so I'm kind of just, I'm just going for it. Um, so yeah, um, I'm going to cut up some more onion and then keep going from there. Alright, so now I got all the onions in and I'm going to put the potatoes in. And then after I do this, I'm going to... I'm kind of just going for it. I, I mean, pepper it. Good amount of pepper in there. Put some of this dry rub on there. Oh no, I'm just, I'm eyeing it up. Put some of that dry rub up on there. And then, oh man, I have a lot of dry rub in my hand. Alright, now I'm just going to flip it and try to keep everything in it like that and then now I'm going to try and um, 
season this side. Oh, I forgot to put garlic in the other side. Oh my gosh. All right, go turn it back to the other side and put garlic in it. Get the spoon, take some minced garlic. And just spread that up in there and, and then do the same thing with the other side. Some pepper, or yeah, some pepper, some of that dry barbecue rub. Get make sure it's all over everything. Um, get some more garlic. Rub that around a little bit. <sighs> um, and then we're going to take the barbecue sauce and we're just going to dump it on there. And I'm just going to rub it up onto there. Now in the oven, I'm just going to take it and I'm going to um, turn it back over now and get some barbecue on the other side. And then in the oven, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook it until it gets brown on the outside and then it's at 250. Cook it till it gets brown on the outside and then um, put it on, um, oh my goodness this is a mess, and then put it on 200 and let it cook for, this is about a pound of meat so I'm going to say about an hour and let it cook and then have some barbecue squirrel and we're going to be able to try it. So I'm going to wash my hands, finish up with this barbecue and then um, We'll start cooking. All right, so now, I mean, it's already looking good. Just a big blob of um, squirrel meat. Now we're just gonna open up the oven. Set it off in there. And we're gonna slow cook it. All right, so as you guys know, the ones of you who watch me, I don't normally do videos like this and like the review of the trail camera, which is the last video. If you haven't seen it, go check it out if you wanna low budget trail camera, but um... <sighs> oh, so I don't, normally don't do videos like this, but I decided to today, I've got a new camera, I, the quality's good, I'm just excited to use it. Um, I think it's fun, I mean, I think some people find this useful to be able to cook a squirrel and stuff, but if you guys don't like it, I mean, I'm just kind of do like a little vlog thing, like all the little outdoor stuff I do in one day, so if you guys like it, please let me know. If you don't, let me know, um, just tell me down in the comments. But if you like the video so far, I recommend subscribing. Um, so we're gonna let that squirrel cook. Um, I'll get back to you with some updates. All right guys, well, I'm being pretty impatient, but the oven was at 250 and I was waiting for it to get brown. But I'm a little hungry, I guess you could say. So now uh, we got the temperature at 400 degrees because we needed to cook a lot faster. Looks done to me. I'm going to take it out now. It looks good. Here, I'll let you guys see. I mean, it looks fantastic. You have no idea it's squirrel, so I'm gonna let it cool down a little bit, put it on a plate, and uh, we're gonna eat some barbecue squirrel. I need a napkin. All right, guys, so it's done. Um, the potatoes probably aren't cooked. I probably should have cooked them a little bit before it, but let's try potato first. Mm-hmm. Potato needs to cook more. All right. Now, we're going to eat the actual squirrel. The front leg. Oh, wow. I mean, it tastes just like chicken. I mean, squirrel really does just taste like chicken. But, put in that salt and let it slow cook for that little bit. It's not, it just falls right apart now. Wow. Wow. Usually squirrel stay like it's a little bit more tender and it's doesn't like to fall apart, but this is just falling right off. 
This is really good, guys. Because it was really good, I'll leave everything that I did um, in the description. And uh, I'll just put all the ingredients I used in the description so you guys can look at that and make it if you want to. So I'm going to finish my lunch here and maybe we'll find something else to do or maybe this will be the end of the video. So I'll see you later. Well, guys, that's it for today. Um, I cooked some squirrel, put the trail camera up, went squirrel hunting a little bit, but didn't see any squirrel. Um, I've had a lot of time to squirrel hunt left in the season. Um, I can legally shoot 13 more squirrels, so hopefully I'll be able to make some videos uh, squirrel hunting and getting some squirrels. So thank you guys for watching, and have a great day.